Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. I hope you had a great break. So now we're going to move on to some local startup news. Uh, we'll be delivering the latest information on, on what is happening now and what kind of players are moving and shaking in the innovation scene uh, in Osaka, Kyoto, and Kobe. So the first case study is from Osaka. Uh, this is a video pitch by Anna Shimafuji, the CEO of Neural Port Company Limited, and Juna Shimafuji, the deputy representative. Uh, the startup from Osaka University, which won the highest award at Kansai Student Pitch Grand Prix 2020, will soon be releasing their educational app, Lemon Kids International. Uh, internationally. Uh, so it was established by these two sisters, uh, Anna and Juna, in 2020 uh, to develop an educational platform for discovering Elon Musk's super resource egg uh, that can contribute to the progress of humankind. Really looking forward to this, so let's take a look. Here we go. Hello everyone, nice to meet you. Thank you for this opportunity to present our concept to you. We are Anna and Juno Shimafuji. We are called Lemonade Sisters. Our family root is Iga, Japan. It's famous ninja town. We have both samurai and ninja blood. It is super unique. Lemonade Kiss is named after the phrase when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. This popular saying is basically advising you to make the best of the negative situations in life. If you think creatively, you can overcome anything. I like this phrase and I would like to spread this word in Asia. Lemonade Kids began in 2018 as a business education event at Osaka University. We have held many events in the past. We were awarded the grand prize at Kansai Student Pitch 2020. What is KSPGP? It's a pitch contest by students representing 10 national and private universities in Kansai with the aim of developing human resources for innovation. The goal is to make an innovation ecosystem in Kansai. If you are interested, please check it out. Allow us to explain our overall concept. We are at the dawn of new era. We really need a better educational system so that we produce more innovative thinkers to help humanity progress at a more accelerated pace. Wouldn't the world be a better place if there were not one but hundreds of Elon Musks? The current structure of Japanese educational system is counterproductive to this goal. So we should change the education. Look at left figure. We hypothesize that 100 Elon Musk Jr. with high metacognition and high design thinking skills regardless of IQ or academic skills. I think IQ is not meaning in the future. We would call these individuals super resource children. This is a completely original definition. The assessment of super resource is currently still under study and development in my PhD course. We can help them develop their cognitive skills by putting them in direct contact with researchers or scientists. So, we are creating a unique educational platform to enhance super resource abilities. The application has two main functions and the third part being a business component, enabling children to receive a tuition-free education. Children can earn points by watching interactive ads. In the category Know Your Speciality, children can learn about their favorite research topic by tapping on their favorite image. 
they can also see a list of researchers and read their papers. Next is the design thinking part. As children fill in the four modules, the presentation is automatically generated. Do you know Creative Commons? It's important for Asian, I think. Creative Commons copyright will cover the materials developed by children. Additionally, children will be able to view researchers' comments on their presentations. Our business model is subscription-based, offering ads to various companies. Children and PhD researchers have access free of charge. If many children use this app, companies will not miss this ad space. Our team consists of myself, my sister, and CTO, and also my mother's cousin, who is a 3D motions designer for the game Final Fantasy. At first, Elon Musk started the company with his real brother, so it's best team for me. We hope this new educational platform will become the norm in the future. This means new normal. We established the company Neuralport Inc. on September 2020. I would like to meet a lot of investors in the world, and I also want to create a route to connect children with foreign countries. Very recently, we were accepted into Tim Draper's program. He is a well-known investor in Tesla. Think big, drive progress, go full speed ahead. I'll do my best. I really want to become the startup hero and help Asian children through new education. I am sorry that I am a beginner of English, but I am winner of creativity, I know. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. All right, that was Lemonade Kids. It's a very interesting concept. Thank you very much. Okay, moving on to our second case study. Our second case study is from Kyoto. Uh, Mr. Hiroyuki Suzuki, uh, the Senior Managing Director and General Manager of Business Development Office, International Telecommunications Research Institute Company Limited, or ATR. Should have started with that. Uh, introducing the explanation of the global acceleration program called KGAP Plus. Uh, it's held twice a year in collaboration uh, with uh, innovation bases around the world for the purpose of collaborating with domestic and overseas startups and large Japanese companies and startups from Japan to overseas and from overseas to Japan and the demo day of batch four that startups will pitch tomorrow. Uh, after that, we will continue to show an interview video of foreign entrepreneurs who are active in Osaka, Kyoto, and Kobe, and promotional videos of the Osaka and Kansai Expo 2025. So I believe the promotional videos will be first, and after that, we'll have another video after that. So please take a look. Here we go. The Kyoto, Osaka, Kobe Bay area lies at the center of Western Japan. In the past, it flourished as the home of Japan's capital and port cities. The second largest metropolitan area in Japan, it is compact enough to move from one city to another inside an hour and a great place to live. Recently, the Kyoto Osaka Kobe Bay area has also been attracting attention as an urban center of innovation. World famous accelerators are gathering one after another to boost the growth of startups. Each city is actively supporting overseas entrepreneurs. Many overseas companies and entrepreneurs have already moved into the area and started their own businesses. 
So why did they choose the Kyoto, Osaka, Kobe Bay area? My name is Wang Yuanyuan, and I come from China. Fangfo offering integrated management tool uh, to restaurant owners to help them transform to a smart restaurant. Restaurant partners of Fangfo uh, located in Kyoto are more active and they have uh, uh, a lot of interest in Fangfo. Also, uh, Kyoto is known as a city of tourism and the Fangfo app is friendly to foreign tourists. Overall, we believe we can have a good performance if we're based on Kyoto. There's a lot of beautiful mountains in Kyoto, and uh, it's a great place to relax and uh, change my mood. Sometimes I just uh, walk along Kamogawa. I think it's a good way to enjoy the sunshine and uh, flowers. My name is Max, and I'm from Germany. Marui is a plugin for 3D design software to allow designers to use their software in virtual reality. So instead of using a mouse and a keyboard, they put on a VR headset and they can see their creation in front of them and move it directly with their hands. Osaka is very nice for starting a company because you get a lot of support, but at the same time it is much cheaper to live than in Tokyo. The rent for apartments and for uh, office space is much lower than compared to other cities, but it still has a very vibrant startup scene that gives you a lot of support. I'm Nancy, CEO of Project Site Pen. Our project is to develop a drug to cure Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Since this drug can increase cancer in the brain, it will treat other brain disorder. We can get great support to accelerate our business development from Foundation for Biomedical Research and Innovation at Kobe as a startup bioventure. The best part of Kobe is its beautiful nature. It has both ocean and mountain close to each other. I enjoy sea kayaking at the coast and trekking in the mountain area during my holiday. The Kyoto Osaka Kobe Bay Area Innovation Ecosystem has a whole lot to offer. Why not make it your center for innovation? Osaka to 2025 and beyond. The Osaka Kansai World Expo will be held in 2025 at Osaka Yumeshima. The theme is designing future society for our lives. We aim to contribute to the realization of Society 5.0 and the Sustainable Development Goals to enable a healthy and prosperous future society for the 8 billion people around the world. Here in Osaka, preparations have already begun across these fields. Saving lives. In Osaka, Kansai region, advanced medical sectors have merged to create a highly advanced medical environment. Furthermore, the life science research that is supporting the pillars of our lives continues to evolve in Osaka. Empowering Lives The development and commercialization of AI and robots is underway to enrich our society for the future. Connecting Lives. Combining cross-sector efforts under the umbrella of co-creation, we are promoting startups and initiatives that contribute to solving societal challenges. Companies and interest groups across Osaka are proactively engaging in projects to the benefit of realizing the SDGs. We have already commenced next-generation urban development initiatives, such as smart cities, to enrich the lives and culture of all who reside in Osaka. We are dedicated to improving the accessibility of our transportation, air or rail, making Osaka more convenient than ever before for travelers from both local and abroad. 
for the Osaka Kansai World Expo 2025 and the world that awaits beyond. Osaka will continue accelerating. All right, thank you very much. So, Mr. Suzuki, if you're ready, let's jump into the session. Here we go. Okay, thank you very much for your introduction. I'm Suzuki of ATL. Uh, today, I'd like to explain uh, the outline of KGA Plus and the KGA Plus Batchable Demo Day. The KGA Plus is the acceleration program in Kehana Science City and composed of three parts. The first part is local challenge, in which we select uh, about 10 startups for main program. The main program lasts three months, uh, held twice a year in summer and winter, and carried out a combination of online and offline. We set a POC or pilot test with Japanese companies and hospital at the goal, and selected about five startups can access to can be access to uh, have access to our global partners in Barcelona and New York City. The acceleration program was made possible with our global innovation networks, which we constructed for the last four years. We have now more than 500 organizations uh, working with together, working together, including uh, more than 200 overseas organizations in 18 countries. Our core partners are located in Barcelona, Israel, India, Canada, and New York City. We are working uh, together with public sectors in Barcelona, Israel, and Canada, and uh, private sectors in India and New York City. And we are also working very closely with JetLow in Japan. What we are creating is two dimensional collaboration network acting Kehana Science City as a hub, looks like this, and try to connect these networks to Japanese market and Japanese tech society. So you can see we have had 35 startups which are selected from seven countries and cities, Barcelona, Canada, Hong Kong, India, Israel, Japan, and USA, which participated KGA Plus batch one to three. These 35 startups can be classified into 12 uh, fields of technology, uh, such as robotics, IoT, smart devices, healthcare, medical, to construction tech and manufacturing. The outcome of KGA Plus is, I would say, really good up to now. We have succeeded in matching for 30 startups out of 35 startups with companies and a hospital as shown here. The percentage is as large as 86%. We are now uh, conducting a KDR Plus batch four, uh, starting with local challenge in North America, India, Nordic, Estonia, Israel, and Japan. And we selected totally 13 startups to main programs, which starts in November 10th, and now finishing as, uh, with a demo day held uh, tomorrow in Haku Osaka. And we will select about five startups for special program of uh, ELA in New York City. The KGA Plus Batch 4 is carried out in collaboration with Osaka, Kyoto, Hyogo, Kobe Consortium, uh, which was selected as a global startup city and the Japanese cabinet office, and implemented with uh, Kansai uh, prefectures and Kansai cities written here as LDZ programs supported by JETLO and METI. So I'd like to thank you, the 25 uh, co-hosts and the collaborating organizations listed here for KGA Plus, Batch 4, and uh, seven co-host organizations and written here, as well as 18 cooperation uh, organization. We'd, we'd like to thank you very much. So as I mentioned, KGA Plus Batch 4 is now uh, being carried out, and we selected 13 startups from six countries 
Israel, Japan, India, USA, Canada, and uh, new participants, Finland, as shown here. Uh, these 13 startups can be classified in eight fields of technology, starting from uh, healthcare, AI, mobility, to security. Kiga Plus is managed by people coming from ATL, uh, me, uh, Nakajima, and um, Tatsumi. And also we have very dedicated uh, mentors coming from mainly from the Kansai area, uh, Kobe, Osaka, Kyoto, as well as Tokyo area. Uh, belonging to financial sectors and local governments, uh, jet law and the law firm and industries and some investing organizations. Uh, we'd like to express a deep thanks for your dedication to our program. So as I mentioned, we will have a demo day tomorrow in Hakko Osaka 2021, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. And the uh, demo day uh, will be a composed of two sessions because of the time difference of participating countries. And we will start with uh, a talk about the New York City ecosystem with Mr. Mulato. He's a, a co-founder of ELA, uh, together with a pitch of uh, KGA Plus Bats for Startups, and also uh, four pitches by the winner of Battery Awards from four countries, and also the uh, winner of a Global Business Matching Award from Shinagawa Business Club, the 11th Business Creation Contest. So it would be great if you if we can meet you together uh, once again uh, tomorrow at the, on the demo day. So you can register utilizing this uh, QR code and please register for tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much for your kind attention. All right, Mr. Suzuki, thank you very much. Okay, next up, Mr. Masaki Yoshikawa. Uh, he's the representative of Human Hub Japan Company Limited, which is an advocate of the Hack Osaka movement. Uh, he'll be giving us some information on topics such as the startup, friend, uh, startup friendly decoration, uh, Keihanshin Startup Ecosystem Consortium, Kansai Innovation Initiative, and Expo 2025. And he'll also talk about the charm of Osaka, Kyoto, and Kobe and the Hack Osaka movement. So let's take a look. Hello, welcome to Hack Osaka uh -huh. 2021. I'm one of leading chair members of Osaka Startup Ecosystem Consortium. I'm also the former director general for innovation of Osaka city government, where we started this Hack Osaka. It is my great pleasure to speak here to establish another new network of global communities for solving challenges in the world. Hack Osaka is a movement to transform Osaka into one single workplace equipped with a new network to enhance the mobility of the city's invisible assets, such as talent and technologies. It is the movement to create a network that works beyond the countless borders, such as job title, organization, nationality, in order to achieve a purpose-driven and totally optimized society. We would like to ready for rapid changes and many challenges of the world. First, allow me to give you an idea of Osaka and its surrounding area known as Kansai. This red circle region is called the Kansai, which is located in the center of Japan and includes cities such as Osaka, Kyoto, Kobe, with a total population of 21 million. Osaka, seated in the heart of Kansai, has been a gateway between Asia and Japan since the old days. And this led the city to become the city of commerce. Kansai has the second largest economy in Japan following Tokyo. GRP of Kansai region's economy is approximately 800 billion US dollar, almost equal to the Netherlands, and of which 
Osaka accounts for 50%. This large scale of economy is attributed in part to the globally recognized companies from various fields here, such as of sensor devices, electric appliances, food and beverage, pharmaceutical products, and sports. And Osaka holds the most small and medium sized size companies, bringing with them broad manufacturing capabilities from toothbrushes, robotics, to space satellites. You could manufacture everything you can imagine. And Kansai region is one of the most technologically advanced areas in the world, thanks to its many prominent universities and research institutes. The university give Kansai a dense student population, which supplies fresh blood to its startup ecosystem. According to a survey by Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, so-called METI, in fact, the survey which I also helped them to contact, the habitat of startups in Kansai is outlined as follows. The first, the number of startups is about 1,000. And second, the region is characteristic for its medical, IoT, lifestyle, bio and pharmacy. It has a sector bias in the industry distribution when compared with the Japanese national average. Medical, bio, pharmacy, robotics accounts for the larger portion than other areas in Japan. Looking into more details of how startups in Kansai have been born and raised, we found the following features. First, the easy access to good manufacturing capabilities attracted these startups to Kansai's market. Second, talented, talented people who spun out from major corporations gave birth to these companies, knowledge and experiences and networks in the industry acquired during their previous positions helped them to launch the startups. Third, technologies researched and accumulated in universities and institutes with industry academia collaboration enable them to launch startups. Please notice these companies marked with red cranes. The symbol represents startups designated by the METI's J Startup Program, which aims to make winning startups in the global market and bring new values to the world from Japan. Now Kansai has formed Startup Ecosystem Consortium. Osaka, Kyoto, and Kobe will, will all gather to collaborate to make the area more vibrant. The Kansai Startup Ecosystem Consortium creates big potential in scale, for instance, in all of the criteria such as the number of startups, the number of funded startups over million US dollar, the number of major corporations, the number of highly skilled foreign professionals. Kansai ranks second highest just after Tokyo, but I believe Kansai does not fall behind Tokyo in the diversity of capability to lead innovation. The region's three major cities are distinct but are complementary in their strength, taking diversity to create synergy. For instance, in the bio healthcare field, Kobe has the biomedical innovation cluster, which is one of the largest of its kind in Japan. Osaka is a home to major pharmaceutical companies for the commercialization, and Kyoto is rich in research seas, including these related to iPS cells and it's also known as home to many Nobel Prize laureates. Each city has also have individual hubs to run their own ecosystems. Osaka, for example, has the Osaka Innovation Hub in the center of, of the city near Osaka Station. The Osaka Innovation Hub, OIH, 
which is one of the five hubs of Forbes ma Japan Magazine's Editor's Choice, holds 250 events a year, every year, including more than 50 pitch presentation, almost one pitch per week. It provides the best opportunities for networking. OIH hosts networking even between startup and corporate executives and ecosystem needs a link between the major corporations and startups to collaborate openly and lead innovation together. The Declaration of Startup Friendly Kansai, a pledge by 61 major corporate corporations and their corporate executive association was announced based on the trust fostered by this networking. Now Kansai has just started an industry academia collaboration program called the Kansai Innovation Initiative to accelerate technology-based startups from universities and to get them to create solution to all challenges in the world. We aim at building the hub for technology solutions to all challenges in the world. Project consists of almost all universities, major organizations and local governments to form the team Kansai. We have continued to and we'll always look for every possible way to make this world better from Kansai. We would like to call for your participation with the challenges or technologies from all over the world. The more diversity increases, the more innovation will take place. The more we act with a purpose, the more challenges we can solve. We will exhibit all of our progresses at the Hakosaka conference. And we'll try to submit part of them towards the Expo 2025 as a result of Hakosaka movement. We are looking forward to connecting with you and seeing you in the near future to build a global hub of tech solution in Kansai where we can work together on solving challenges in the world. Thank you very much.